Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator, and in this video, we're going to talk about some good news, and that is uh, out here in Wyoming, they have, um, beyond their wildest dreams, they have found 2.4 billion metric tons of rare earth minerals. Yeah, and they say that that could make Wyoming, um, the U.S. make the U.S. the world leader, because right now, in this article, uh, this was February ninth, twenty twenty four. This original article was February eighth. Today's the thirteenth. This will get loaded up on the fourteenth. But um, right here, it, it says that right now, um, China. You know, America could, uh, the discovery could mean that America could overtake China, who, uh, supply stands at 44 million metric tons. And, um, so this is, um, American Rare Earth Inc., who has this discovery, and they, they, um, are thrilled. It exceeded their wildest dreams. Yeah, so, Big happenings out here in uh, Wyoming. So um, they they say that they, the the minerals include oxides of a lot of IUMs. So there's neodymium, N E O D Y M I U M, um, P R A S E O D Y M I U M, uh, samarium, S A M A R I U M. D Y S P R O S I U M and T E R B I U M. <laughs> so, um, and right now, um, a whopping 95% of Earth's minerals, uh, originate in China with the United States importing 74%. So, um, this company first started drilling in March of 2023. And right now, they are looking at uh, over 2 billion tons of rare earth minerals. And right here in this uh, Daily Mail article, it shows that this this is in um, Wheatland, Wyoming. So you have Cheyenne. Casper, okay, look at Wyoming. It's it's bordered by six states, Montana, Idaho, Utah, Colorado, Nebraska, and South Dakota. So Cheyenne is just right here, right above the Colorado border. This is Fort Collins. That's that's a college town. You got Denver. So it's just north of, um, you got Den Boulder. Everybody's heard of Boulder. Oh, I'm working Mindy. You know, it's a, it's a hip town. So, uh, so it's Cheyenne's just kind of north of um, Denver, and, and then you got Casper, and Wheatland is right here, just just like this map showed, <laughs> just just north of um, uh, of Cheyenne. And so, the the good thing too here here's a picture of one of the the rocks that they found that has a bunch of. Um, oxides of all these IUMs, <laughs> however you say all those words. But right here, uh, it says America Rare Earth is not the only company in the new gold rush out west, as U.S.-based Ramaco, R-A-M-A-C-O Resources, has a stake near Sheridan, Wyoming, that could be worth around $37 billion. And so... If you look at this map of Wyoming right here, so let, let's just bring it up further. So you have Wyoming on here. You got Cheyenne, which we know is just um, above Denver. And 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 then you come up here to Casper. And then if we just bring this up a little bit, up from Casper, up 90 is Sheridan. And then just north of Sheridan, northwest a little bit, is Billings. So Sheridan's up at the north end of the stake. And they, too, um, have some big news going on down there. Something that uh, could be worth $37 billion. So 
Wyoming's got it going on right now. They, right here, the, you know, these rare earth minerals, they're used in, in everything that has made our 21st century lives. <laughs> and right here, it says, you know, these rare earth minerals are critical to a broad array of technological goods, including everything from computers to cell phones to missiles and national defense. So we've been importing 74% of the rare earth minerals that China's been um, mining, and now we have them in our own backyard. And this article here says, um, the kinds of minerals discovered are widely used in technology such as smartphones, hybrid cars, and aircrafts, as well as things like light bulbs and lamps. So, yeah, they are really, truly used for everything. And, and they say that this is a great thing, um, you know, not just because these are in-demand resources, but that China has been restricting supply. You know, they, they're they the ones that have the rare earth minerals, and uh, they've been keeping them to themselves. And, and they say another good thing about this site is that, um, as you saw on the map, Wheatland is not too far from Interstate 25. That's the road that runs up from Denver to Cheyenne and then further north to Wheatland. So it says it puts it both to close to both transportation and infrastructure, despite its somewhat remote Overton Mountain location. So, yeah, being right here, uh, there's 25, Cheyenne, um, 25 is, is what goes down to Denver. So 25, yeah, it, 25 goes down to uh, Colorado Springs and further south down, down into New Mexico. So, yeah, it, it's, it's a long... It's a long road, so this puts this very much with, you know, easy to transport out of there and easy to get the equipment they need into there, you know, and have logistics running out of there. And they're saying here that the extraction process would use an open pit on the surface which is the most common method used throughout the world for mineral mining. It's, uh, uh, people don't like it, but, um, you know, they say open pilt mining, uh, you know, although it's an environmental hazard, is still the fastest way to extract minerals. Companies can pull as much as 20,000 tons a day. So, um, you know, they, they say that it's, um, also safer for workers compared to tunnels that go miles below the surface. So, yeah, they're, they're making the safety argument there, too. But, you know, people don't like when they see the open pit mining because you you just see the scarred face of Earth. And, you know, people that, that don't mind throwing trash on the planet get offended by that, even though they want their rare earth mineral um, minerals for all of their, you know, 21st century uh, conveniences. So right here, here's part of the property out there in Wyoming that they've found these minerals on. And right now, um, uh, America is going to be a player out there with China. And so if China is uh, making supply chains difficult, um, Wyoming can ease the pain, I guess. And, and they're looking forward to uh, the 2.4 billion metric tons on this Wheatland project, um, and we right here the Wheatland, and, and then further up here the, they're hoping on this Sheridan. Sheridan's a pretty cool little town. I know a guy from Sheridan. It's it's a big little town, so not a lot of people know a, a lot of things about you know Wyoming. Um, you know they they, they know Jackson. So that, that, that's further uh, over here. Oh, Old Faithful. So right here, <laughs> there's Jackson. So right, right across the state. 
Wyoming's yeah, it's it's a pretty big state, like like most of the rest of the states out there, um, in the West. <laughs> they they just go. I mean, look at look at right here. Um, yeah, right here. I mean, <laughs> Wyoming is bordered by six big states. <laughs> okay, it's it's a long drive uh, across. Oh, right here. So here's Cheyenne, and, and then Jackson. So. Yep, and then you, this is Yellowstone. That's the Yellowstone Lake right there. And, and then up into Montana. And it's six neighboring states. So so China um, is doesn't have the power that it had a short bit ago. And, and that's a good thing. So stay tuned, people.